Welcome to another full self-driving video. We're on the latest version. Let's see. We got a new update. It's going to be 14.2 full self-driving. It is trash day, so we have a big truck right in front of us. Um, but anyway, so we're going to do a couple first drives here. Uh, we're just going to go ahead straight to the gym, and then from there, we're going to go to campus. Uh, so the gym, 24-hour fitness, we'll go here. We'll have it park itself. It's really close, really nearby. And then after the gym, I'll be there for maybe 30 minutes or so. We'll head to campus and see the, how the parking garage situation works. So let's start full self-driving. And I did use, I was on 14.2 yesterday, uh, and I did maybe only one or two drives with it. Uh, didn't, uh, didn't notice too much of a difference, and also there weren't too many cars on the road. So, and I also didn't record it, but Anyway, so we're here to see how it fares, if there's any difference between the previous version, 14.1.4. So to address the situation here, 14.2 um, was a big rollout, right, uh, to majority of the public, and version 14 essentially brought end-to-end -end parking, which was you can leave from any parking spot, generally, and then also arrive at any parking spot and it'll park itself at destination. Before version 13 could not do that at all. And so with version 14.1.2 that was released to a lot of people. Um, I think it was 14.1.2. There wasn't... Okay, so got a little bit of stop there. Okay, go ahead. I don't know why that guy decided to keep going. I had the right away, but decided to cut me. That's fine. The car gave him the space. Anyway. 14.1.2 was a big rollout and gave everyone end-to-end -end parking, essentially. But it came with, a, I would say, a lot of regression in terms of comfort and stability with, with driving. Not that it would shut out or anything. It's just a lot more jerky motion to the vehicle, especially at stops or turns. Uh, with a lot of cars involved, it would hesitate a lot. And so as a passenger, you'd feel a lot of jolting back and forth. And... 14.1.4 was the most recent update, I believe, at least mass rollout uh, to the cars. And 14.1.4 compared to .1.3 essentially, you know, was supposed to kind of fix that, uh, the jerking motion. And I felt that it didn't really. Uh, the jerking motion was still there, maybe totally not as aggressive, but, you know, it was still ever present and I wouldn't feel, feel comfortable you know, using FSD if I had another passenger with me. Um, but the thing with version 13 was it was so good that I would be excited to take, you know, anyone out to try out or watch FSD do what it does because it had no issues whatsoever besides having to, like, it can't park itself. But majority of the drive, it, it was handling so perfect and so smooth. Um, but with version 14, it's not where it is or where that was good turn here uh but yeah so 14.2 all i'm looking for uh i guess what most people are looking for is how similar it fares to version 13 uh, because 13 was very smooth no hesitation hardly any hesitation uh, very smooth drive all around so hopefully version 14.2 will bring end-to-end -end driving and that smoothness back to the drive and let's see so far, I mean, it's faring normal. I do have it in hurry. So again, there's multiple modes. You have uh, Mad Max, hurry, standard, chill, and sloth. Uh, these are speed profiles and at destination, you can choose whether to park curbside or just park in a parking lot or charger. Uh, so right now I have it set to parking lot and it's on a hurry profile right now. Uh, what I've been seeing online is that they changed the speed profiles a little bit at the hurry and Mad Max mode. I think the NHTSA kind of got mad at Tesla. I don't know. Uh, someone can quote me on this or don't quote me on this. Someone can look it up or fact check me essentially uh, that previously with the speed profile of hurry or Mad Max, mostly Mad Max, you'd go pretty high above the speed limit on certain locations. Um, on the highway, you could reach about 80 miles per hour max. Like, generally, you can... I don't know if you can adjust it from there. Uh, 80, 80 miles per hour, and you hug the far left lane. 
uh, but even on city streets, so on driving on a road like this where the speed limit maybe says 35, it'll push you maybe somewhere mid 40s or something, maybe not whole 10 miles per hour, but it was pretty high where that Mad Max mode, you know, probably would get people in trouble. And obviously you're going above the speed limit that is technically illegal. Um, even if, I don't know, you can go with the flow of traffic, but sometimes the car would still go even with no flow of traffic, it's just going to go beyond the speed limit. And I think in that case, it can be a little bit dangerous. Obviously, the car is very safe and uh, is able to maneuver around certain objects and vehicles and unexpected situations. But uh, yeah, I think essentially we had to, or NHTSA, National Health, whatever, safety, whatever, um, yeah, decided to crack down on that because it, valued, it deemed it unsafe. So I haven't tried Mad Max Profile. I'm not sure if I ever will. I'm usually a cautious driver anyway, uh, driving near and around the speed limit, not too much above. Anyway, so here's our 24-hour fitness. We're going to see how it wants to park in this one. Uh, if you've seen my version 14.1.3 video, I actually did post a video uh, this is basically going to be the exact same thing, exact same route as well. So it wants to go into this lot, <clears throat> which is fine. I mean, I typically, you want to back in and you, you pick the skinniest spot too. Yeah. Where the, yeah. All right. So the last time I did this, it actually pulled into a spot head first or nose first. This one's just backing in. And I know we're in between both cars, but it technically didn't do a very good job, parking job. So we're on the, you know, there's two lines here. We're on one of the second lines. Um, I'll fix it in a second. But anyway, essentially, I'm just going to go work out for a little bit. Um, Maybe for, you know, 20, 30 minutes because uh, I got class soon. Anyway, uh, I'll catch you in a bit. All right, just finished at the gym. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start a quick navigation. So I want to park over in this lot. 50 Pine Street. And so let's see how it does. Let's go ahead and hit start. We'll just have the car take us out of this lot. All right, good, no hesitation there. And we're still on the hurry profile. We have it set to park at a parking garage. So we'll see how it wants to park this time. The last time I did this test, or the first time with 14.1.3 or 2, um, it parked in a handicap on the second to top floor. So let's see if it wants to park in a handicap or maybe it now recognizes the handicap sections. I don't know. So I do want to move over one lane. I could be in the third lane. I mean, well, now it's the second lane. I don't want to be in this lane because it tends to slow down. So I want to move over one, but again, I'm not going to try and intervene. I'm going to have the car do everything itself. With the hurry profile, I think in the last one, I would not be in this lane at all. I would like, it would probably automatically switch over to the left lane. I think even on standard profile too. So I don't know if this is just a 14.2 element or or what. I feel I'm going pretty slow here when I don't need to. I could be behind that truck on the left and not this box truck in the front. I guess I'm lucky everything's green today. But also, it is a Tuesday as of recording, and it's the week of Thanksgiving. 
And so what I noticed yesterday also going to campus was there's not a lot of cars on the road. And I think it's probably due to the fact that a lot of people are now on their Thanksgiving break or vacation. They're out of uh, the house or not going into work the week of. So, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty light day today. There hasn't been too much traffic and even yesterday as well. So I guess that's good news, but a bit boring for FSD to see how it handles. But yeah, so we're still on hurry profile. We're not even a little bit past 45 miles per hour, which is fine. We do have a car ahead of us. That's kind of uh, setting the pace. So yeah, no one in front of us. We are at a 40 mile speed limit, at least according to the car. And we're going just a little bit above 40 or so. Uh, the highest we got was 44. So four, hour, four miles per hour over the speed limit. Now we're slowing down because we have this left turn coming up. So far that's pretty smooth. Immediately to the far right. Okay, interesting choice. So I do believe that this shoulder is closed and this biker Okay, well, all right, very good. We did move over because the biker didn't want to go onto the sidewalk, which they shouldn't. Shoulder was closed, so the bike lane's closed, and the car decided to move over, which was the right appropriate move. But we will be making a right turn in less than half a mile now. I mean, we can move back if we'd like. I would like to. Please. All right. Yeah, 45 mile per hour speed limit, but we're still cruising around. Well, here we go, 45. Not much higher than that. Have our right turn. Smooth turn, but immediately to the far left lane. Not sure how I feel about that. All right. So we do have a couple stop signs here. We'll stop to zero. Yeah, we're rolling through pretty slow here. It's been even pretty gradual with its acceleration outside of the stop sign. Um, yeah, I don't know. Even on hurry, I'd expect it to be faster. At least that's what it was or how it felt to me the last time with the last version. So seeing this feel almost like chill or standard profile for the hurry profile, I guess it did slow down a little bit. I don't know if you guys, if anyone's watching that has 14.2, let me know if it's the same for you guys as well. Um, they don't mention a lot of these things in the patch notes. Obviously, it's all subjective and just how it feels, per se. All right, so we do have... We'll see where it wants to park. That's the hard thing. So it has two options. We can't turn right. Okay, we're going to turn left. And there should be plenty of spots to pick from. And it's going to take this first one that we see. Are you going to adjust? Oh, wow. Okay, no. Ballsy. That was a bit close. And we're done. We're in. Nice. Uh, so if I pull up the, the lines here, 
That looks pretty good. Yeah. Oh, that car's dented. Anyway, cool. Thanks for watching. I'm going to actually move my car because I don't like parking here. Um, I'm going to be on class till like, what? It's 8, but I'll be here until 6 p.m. or something. And yeah, I don't want a lot of sun damage. I know it's not really that hot, but I like to park on the inside just a little bit. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, this is 14.2. Um, I guess for this most recent drive, I didn't go over the. This is since last charge, but for the most recent drive, it's 446.8 watt hours per mile. Um, I've been running the heater a little bit. We went uphill for this, so they're only 3.7 miles and take like eight minutes. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, you guys take care. See ya.